Right now at 5, breaking news in the plane crash that killed four people in Decatur County. Good evening. I'm Jenna Coy. Erica is off tonight. And I'm Todd Connor. Less than 30 minutes ago, a family spokesperson confirmed the identities of the victims. It is with much heaviness of heart that I announce that God has called four of our loved ones home. Don and Barb Horan and Steve and Denise Butts. They leave behind six beautiful children who are hurting and grieving over the loss of their parents. The four victims were on a small plane that had been cleared to approach the Greensburg Airport last night, but it never arrived. Officials discovered the wreckage around 10.45 p.m. in a farm field about a mile and a half away from the Decatur County Fairgrounds. RTV6 reporter Derek Thomas is live in Greensburg with these breaking developments. Derek. Todd, it is a sad and grim day. As you just heard, the investigators have released the names of the victims. Dead are 46-year-old Donald Horan and his wife, 45-year-old Barb, 45-year-old Stephen Boots, and his wife, 42-year-old Denise. They were returning from a, a trip to Des Destin, Florida. Shortly after daybreak, heavy equipment rolled in to assist in the recovery of the plane and its passengers. All terrain vehicles and boots were necessities to deal with the conditions. Ginger Smith was on the scene last night when she heard about the crash and wanted to help. It was tearful for me to know that I couldn't do anything. I, I, I could stand there and not do nothing because there were so many people already involved that they didn't want to jeopardize anybody else's safety. Dispatchers got a 911 call at 6:15 yesterday evening about a possible plane crash. The plane was registered to Donald Horan of Greensburg. He has only owned the plane since October. Flight records show the plane left Greensburg on Friday, headed to Florida. The investigation is in full swing. Approximately 10:45 this morning, representatives from the FAA arrived on scene and are accompanying the Decatur County coroner as well as the uh, pathologist uh, to examine the wreckage. That way, we can start recovery operations. Mayor Gary Herbert is very familiar with two of the victims. And he lamented the loss. They were good Christians. They went to the same church as I attend. And uh, the gentleman was a businessman here in Greensburg. Uh, part of the community, very active in, in the community and his church. And it's just sad that we have this kind of tragic accident and take their lives so early. Now, that businessman that uh, the mayor was talking about is Donald Horan. He and his wife, Barb, leave behind four daughters. Todd? Derek, we know there was a lot of fog in the area. Did that or any other weather, uh, were they an issue in this crash? The police who were here uh, addressed that issue. They say the NTSB will make that call, but they did say that there was fog and misting rain uh, yesterday evening, and that could very well have contributed in that crash. All right, no doubt something we'll get an answer on later. Derek Thomas reporting live for us. Derek, thank you.